this is therapy me so as you probably already know I am a block printer and um, I have a lot of leftover rubber and <laughs> it's funny I do not throw the extra pieces away because what I love to do is create trash stamps so basically stuff that you would normally throw in the trash I make stamps out of them so to give you some context <laughs> here are a couple that I made out of random cuts I kind of embrace the shape of what it is um, this one looks like a crown it reminds me <laughs> of the Jean-Michel Basquat crown. Um, this one was made out of random square cut. This one as well. I even collect them in a box. I even put trash jams on them. So there's loads in there of other off cuts that I've made and I just love how they look when you layer them over each other um, but I don't I I make sure that I don't let any of this go to waste and utilize pretty much everything that I have so let's get started and I'll show you my process in making trash stamps all right all right so looking at this piece yes it's a little jagged so what I might do is kind of straighten it up a little bit so sometimes on the edge it's not necessarily level you can see from the side angle, there's a little divot here. You see a little divot there. So what I like to do is just kind of like trim it. So I'm using my, um, my cutting mat, I can kind of gauge or to be more precise. Let's take out my ruler and mark where I need to go and then trim time. I'm not too worried about it being completely straight or flush but I'm just embracing what it is so um, I think I'm gonna make it an enclosed stamp so I'm going to kind of like freehand draw what I'm thinking all right and now I'm gonna carve it I'm gonna start with the smallest and move my way up. Let's test this out. Let's try this triangle one. I think I want to do like a little freehand doodle. Let's 
to All right, so this is a Japanese screw punch um, that I got from Talus online. And um, if you can see here engraved, it does say made in Japan, screw punch. I really only use it for book binding. So I picked up this little guy from Amazon for like $12. I believe the Japanese screw punch from Talus is more like 35 to 40 bucks this is 12 bucks this is not even as sharp or as good as the japanese screw punch but i like to use it to make holes in my rubber so um i usually just punch it in and it just pops right out Does like <laughs> pop out from time to time, which denotes how cheap it is, anyway. But it does the job. like on the outside like this part here so I think what I might do is just trim this part down shape that it is and just follow best way to get really great prints is to re-ink your stamp pads. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to start with my yellow, then I'm going to do my pink. And then I'm going to do blue with those same three stamps that three trash stamps, by the way, that I just carved. All right. Let's do this.
like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hope to see you again next Friday. Bye.